Hello and welcome back to Tingling of Five. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cat Drive. This is a crowdfunding campaign to create a sort of NAS cloud service for your mobile phone. So what it does is automatic picture and video backup straight from your phone to the hard drive here. So if you lose your phone, you've still got all of your pictures and all of your videos. So this device would sit in your house where you have access to it, opposed to on a cloud server somewhere where you don't. So let's have a look inside. It's a crowdfunding campaign, so it's very important it has retail packaging, and that it does. So we're all very impressed here. And this is the actual device. So the device itself is very, very clean. It's black uh, and only has two inputs. So we're only looking for a power input and a network input right here. The rest of the box is completely black and there's no interface, there's no on button or anything. It just works. Included with the product down here, we have a couple more things just to make it run. So in that first box, we have the Ethernet cable, which we'll show you at the end. We have the power cable. Now this is USB to a barrel connector. And then if we have a look in the last one here, we have the power supply itself. Now the one that came with this one is a European power supply. Uh, I'm in the UK, so it's a slightly different plug. Uh, so I'll be using a converter for the rest of this video. This is using the new higher capacity chargers. So this is five volt out and 2.4 amps. So it will fast charge your devices as well as power the drive itself. And here is the ethernet cable I mentioned before. So you have everything you need to get set up. Inside there is also this long instruction manual telling you all about the device itself. So it tells you all about the vents on the bottom and everything you need to get started. But let's take you through the journey. So the first thing you do is plug it up, of course. So we need to plug in the ethernet cable and the power cable. And this will make a light come on on the top of the device, which I'll show you in just one second. This light acts as the ready indicator for how your device is doing. So at the moment we have the flashing red, which means it's ready to go into setup mode. So on your mobile device, whether it be Android or iOS, head to your relevant app store and download the Cat Drive app. It needs a lot of permissions because it's actually going to be doing an awful lot here. It's not just asking for these permissions out of pure interest. It's actually going to be doing a lot with those permissions. So with Cat Drive here, first thing you need to do is enter your mobile number. Now I'm in the United Kingdom apparently, um, but here we go. So enter your mobile number and you'll get a verification code. And this will tie your Cat Drive to your phone. So we're not using some sort of web interface or anything like that. We're tying the device directly to your phone, which I thought was very clever. So when the Cat Drive is found, you then need to bind it to your mobile number. The first thing to do is tell the Cat Drive people where it's going to be hosted so their access servers can redirect to your Cat Drive server. And we're going to scroll down here again to the United Kingdom, uh, which is a fortunate typo. They're going to bind to your device. Now this took two attempts, so I had to exit out the app and retry and bind it again by going through the same steps as I had before. But when the cat drive was bound, it worked flawlessly. It just took a little bit of while to get it into there. We then start with editing your profile, so you're going to enter name and you're going to choose a photo from your albums. So I'm going to go into here and because it's a cat, obviously I'm going to choose a cat for my cat drive. And I'll call it cat drive just for the time being. Now, share circle is a feature we'll talk about in a bit. This allows you to share photos between multiple people on here. And I've added a squirrel picture for that one to show you the difference. So when the app's all done, it takes you through all of the interface. So in the bottom left, you have the cat drive, which is your area and the administrator area. The shared area which is the bit I've just mentioned being share circle, where you can share your photos between multiple people. And this last tab talks about the device itself, so that includes the user manual and all of your settings for backing up albums automatically, which works really, really well. So let's dive into the interface here, so you can go into the files, you can change everything around, so from just looking at pictures, just looking at videos, to actually looking at the file structure, which I much prefer to any of the other interfaces. I'll take you through share circle and how to work that in just a moment, but I went to the top right and I put a photo in the share circle ready to go. So everyone who joins my single share circle will be able to see um, this photo and they'll be able to add their own as well. So if we go to members and we go to the top right and we send it to another mobile number, again, we're not sending it to email addresses or anything. We're actually texting it to them. So if we send this text message to my iPhone over here, we can see what comes through. So we have the actual text and we go to this link. So this link just takes you to a website which directs you to the app download. So I'll press that in just one second, which will take me to Safari. Then it'll ask me to open it up in the App Store, and then I'll download the app. Now it's obviously made by the same company because it's come directly from the link. Both the Android and iOS app are identical. So on iOS, it allows you to block or receive notifications. Then we go through to start. We sign in with the phone number, and again, United Kingdom. 
and we enter the new mobile number. So this is not the mobile number from the previous device, this is the new device. So this is my iPhone opposed to my Android phone. And we then log in through the normal uh, way we did before. So uh, you get the verification code, so CatDrive can verify that you own this number. And then from there, you'll have access to the cat drive. So the cat drive is bound. Please contact my previous number to join. And this took about half an hour to clear, and I had to change the contact to a plus four four number instead of a, an 077. So that's just how mobile numbers work here in the UK. But once I've done that, the iPhone has exactly the same functionality as the iPhone app. So it was able to add a different video in. So this is the actual thermal video of the power supply, which I took earlier that day. So I'm just going to show you through the app itself. Uh, shows that the power supply doesn't get very warm, so that's a very good thing. The rest of the device doesn't really get warm either. Uh, there's a couple of heat patches where the hard drive lives, uh, but nothing too crazy, uh, so you'll have no problem storing this wherever you want to store it. Uh, this is shown over a 10 minute period, this video. I've just sped it up uh, quite a lot. But again, it really, really doesn't get very warm. And in terms of power consumption, the power is very, very good. So we you know, max out about seven watts, I think. So you don't have to worry about it draining your electricity bill either. So I've talked mostly about it being the uh, backups device for your phone, but you can also use it on your PC. So if you go to the website i.hallows.co, it takes you to your cat drive itself. Uh, and there you can log in with your mobile number from anywhere and use your verification code that gets texted to you. And you can then log into your cat drive from wherever you are. So if you've got a USB cable into your phone, you could do it completely via a computer. So in the top left hand corner, you see it's on 1.26. So that's a private address. It's on my LAN currently from this device. Uh, and I can update cat drive from here. And I've got all my access that I would expect uh, from my user. But it's all in the web browser as well. So it's very, very handy, quite versatile. Uh, and all my photos are here that I uploaded earlier. So that's CatDrive, quite a successful crowdfunding campaign uh, and very basic uh, NAS device to back up your photos to, which is nice and easy. Saves you having to get them from elsewhere and of course there's no fees because you are hosting the device itself. The album upload works really, really well actually. Uh, it syncs completely to the drive so everything's completely available for you. Uh, it's only available in English and Chinese and apart from a few typos I've really got no complaints about the device. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching everybody.